Right, what we have here is a City 2 control board. So it's a control board that is a 24 volt control board for swing gate motors. And at the moment I have it connected to an axle motor. So out of the box, because it's an Italian control board and motor, it is looking for safety beams. And we don't have any safety beams connected. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the safety beam off. So if I press and hold the menu button until I see PRG, that will access the programming menu. So I'll do that now. Let go. And I'm going to go down until I see Photo 2, because Photo 2 is the external set of safety beams that are always enabled. So I'm going to go down until I see FOT2. FOT2 menu and CFCH. So that's enabled in the closing direction only. And I'm just going to turn those off for now, which is no. And I want to save that setting, so I press and hold the down button. It stops on fine. Menu up to C. Yes, I want to save the setting and menu. So We've saved that setting. The next thing I want to do is make sure that my physical stops are where I need them to be on the motor when I'm manually opening and closing the gate. So I've moved my open physical stop, which is on the motor itself, into the position I need. And I'm just going to let the motor run to the end. That's going to be my physical stop in the closed direction. So I've set those. The next thing I want to do is wire my motor. So this is motor 1 and I'm only using one motor. So I've wired into Z3 and Z4, which is just positive and negative for 24 volts. So if you found that it was running the wrong way, you can just swap those two over and that will change the polarity and change the direction of your motor. But because I'm only running one motor, I want to turn motor 2 off. So to do that, I will press and hold the menu button until I see PRG again. Let go. And I want to go down to T.AP2. So T.AP1 is the runtime for motor 1. T.AP2 is the runtime for motor 2. So I'm just going to make that 0 because it doesn't actually have a motor there, so we're just by setting it to zero, we're disabling it. And I'm just going to do the same for the closing direction, t.ch2. And I'm going to go down, press and hold the down button to fine, so I can save that setting. On menu up to C yes to save the setting and menu so we've done the initial setup now we're going to do an auto learn so to access the auto learn I'll press and hold the menu button until I see APP when I see APP I'm going to let go of the menu button There we go. And what I need to go up to now is T.LAU, so time learning of the automatic limits. There we go. So if I press OK, oh sorry, menu now, it will run through its auto learn.
and there we go. So what it's told me is it's only drawing one amp. So that's our sensitivity setting. And I'm just going to go and accept that. And I'm just going to go down to save the setting. So I press and hold down to fine. Save the setting. See, yes. And there we go. So I have saved that setting. So now it's done as auto learn. So by pressing the up button, it's like pressing start. So if I press up, it will run through and we should see it slow down at the end. And again. There we go. So that's how you put it through in auto-learn.